Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at what are your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. Spirit angels and guides, what are this person's current feelings for Aquarius? What are this person's current feelings for Aquarius? Whoever it is that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love. What does this person currently feel about Aquarius? All right, here we go. All right, Nine of Pentacles in reverse to the Three of Wands to the Nine of Wands in reverse. Let me clarify that three of wands. Tell me about that three of wands spirit. Tell me about the three of wands. The fool, the emperor, the four of swords in reverse. Someone is thinking about you for sure. Someone, someone's thinking about you and someone is, is wanting to communicate with you or break the silence. If there's silence between you two, they're thinking about wanting to break the silence. Because I feel like this person wants to get something going with you. All right. <clears throat> Tell me more, Spirit. How does this person currently feel about Aquarius? They feel like you're far away from them. There's a lot of distance, emotional distance or physical distance. How does this person feel about Aquarius, Empress? Ten of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. Empress. Okay, so we have the Emperor and the Empress here. This person feels a lot of love for you with the Empress card um, and the Six of Cups, but they feel like there's been some difficult energy between you two. And they're not very optimistic that you two could repair the relationship. They feel like a lot of things have happened between you two and it's it hasn't been favorable for the relationship and they're not very optimistic that things could can go back to how it used to be between you two in the past with the six of cups in reverse they're thinking about the past i feel like this person wants things to go back to how they used to be when things were more stable between you two or there was a stronger connection between you two. But they're not very optimistic that that's going to happen. They feel like there's a lot of distance right now between you two. And I feel like they want to um, fill the gap. They want to fill the gap, but they are insecure about it. I'm going to look at this emperor. 
and the Four of Swords, Spirit, Emperor and the Four of Swords. What is it that this, what is it that this person wants to communicate? Emperor and the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like they want a second chance with you because they feel unfinished business with you, but they're nervous to, to tell you that. They're nervous to, to express that to you, that they do want a second chance because they feel unfinished business, but they feel like you're over them. They feel like you're very disappointed with them and like you're... You're very discouraged and you're not going to want to take them back is what they feel. So they're holding back from, from saying anything to you. It's like they're keeping their distance because right now they feel like you're not going to be welcoming, welcoming them. If they were to reach out, they feel like you wouldn't welcome them because of everything that has already happened between you two that has left a negative impression on you about them. This person feels like they ruined their reputation with you. Aquarius. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving forward, Spirit, what are this person's feelings for Aquarius moving forward? Looking up ahead, a little bit up ahead into the future. What are this person's feelings for Aquarius? High Priestess to the Lovers in reverse and the Ace of Swords, you see? Ace of Swords in reverse. There's silence here. High Priestess, Ace of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> so this person is going to maintain their silence because they feel like the connection is broken between you and them. And they don't have any faith or optimism that you would be willing to repair the relationship. And maybe that's for the best. I feel like that's what they're thinking. Maybe that's for the best. They do feel unfinished business, but I feel like they agree. It's almost like they agree that a lot of damage has happened in, in this relationship. I feel like they agree with that. So I feel they feel like it's um it's wise. It would be wise to, to not poke the bear and to just kind of keep their distance and stay quiet. It's almost like this person's intimidated by you. I'm getting that energy. I feel like this person's intimidated by you, Aquarius. I feel like they're scared of they're scared of your reaction or of what, what you would say to them if they try to return back or have a second chance. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Tell me about the high priestess spirit. Why is the high priestess here in this person's feelings for Aquarius? Keep in mind, roles can be reversed. Why is the High Priestess this person's feelings for Aquarius? Justice in reverse. Ooh, to the Four of Wands and the Devil. Okay, so yeah, like I said, this person feels like a lot of damage has happened between you and them. They feel like the relationship turned toxic. Was the relationship was toxic and unhealthy between you and them. So that's why they're keeping their distance and 
keeping their silence because they feel like there's a lot of toxic energy here and I feel like this person is trying to just give this relationship time to heal for some reason I don't feel like this person is gone you know permanently I feel like they're they're being absent they're making themselves absent temp temporarily because they feel like you know there was a lot of toxic energy here and they feel like the relationship needs time to heal all right what about you Aquarius let's take a look at your feelings how does Aquarius currently feel about this person spirit then we'll take a look at the outcome How does the Aquarius currently feel? What are Aquarius's current feelings for this person, whoever they're dealing with in love here? <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. They also feel like you look at them like they're toxic. They feel like they feel like you look at them like they're toxic. Or untrustworthy. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. What are Aquarius's current feelings for this person? We have the seven of wands in reverse. We have strength and we have page of swords in reverse in regards to your feelings, Aquarius. You're not fighting for this with the seven of wands in reverse and the strength card. You're resisting any contact with this person and you're not fighting for this relationship. We do have the page of swords. You are watching though with the page of swords you're watching them or keeping tabs on them you're thinking about them but you are resisting all temptation or desire to contact them and why is that spirit why the strength card tell me about the strength card why is aquarius resisting with the strength card Four of Pentacles to the Hero Font and the Page of Wands in reverse. You don't like something this person said to you with the Page of Wands in reverse. They might have said something to you that rubbed you the wrong way. Um, we do have the Four of Pentacles. You feel like you need to protect yourself against this person. You feel like they're up to no good with the Hero Font. You feel like this person doesn't have the same morals and principles that you have or the same values that you have. All right, let's move on. What are you looking at though with the Page of Swords? Let me just take a look at that. Hold on, I don't want it to be. All right, tell me about the Page of Swords in Reverse Spirit. Why is this in Aquarius's feelings? Why the Page of Swords? Two of Pentacles, oh, Two of Pentacles to the Two of Swords and the Empress. You still very much feel that strong attraction to this person because they're showing up as the Emperor, you're the Empress. You still feel a very um, intense connection with this person. Also with the Strength card, there, there is a lot of passion here. And like deep down inside, you are kind of indecisive here about this person. So on the outside, you're in this energy of no, get away from me. You're no good. I don't trust you. You know, all of that. But on the inside, you're going back and forth about this person. Feeling indecisive here. 
That's why you're still watching or still thinking about them. Hmm. All right, let's move forward. Um, tell me more, spirit. How does Aquarius currently feel about this person? How does Aquarius currently feel about this person? We have the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Cups in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Ten of Cups in the same placement here. That's what we had over here as, as well. Ten of Cups in reverse was at the center, and here it is again at the center. So, again, you don't really believe that a happily ever after is possible with this person. Not from what you have seen from them. Not, not from what they have shown you. Because you have been paying attention with the Four of Pentacles. And I don't think you like what this person has been um, displaying or presenting to you. All right. I need to know what this energy is, though. Hold on. Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups in reverse. Um, I want to take a look at that Knight of Cups spirit. Um, what is this Ten of Cups, uh, this, this Knight of Cups spirit? Why is this card here? And Aquarius' feelings. The Magician, Death, Magician in reverse, Death, Six of Wands in reverse. This is what you're wanting to receive from them. I feel like you want this person to come towards you and apologize. Some of you are waiting for an apology with that Knight of Cups or waiting for this person to be more open and expressive with you about how they truly feel about you and what they truly want with you. And I kind of feel like this is your energy, King of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're in this very, very kind of cutthroat energy of if I don't if I don't get what what I want from this person I'm not going to I'm not going to be flexible I'm not going to be open I'm not going to be lenient if I don't see what I want to see from this person or receive what I want to receive from this person then I'm not going to let this person in. Let this person into my life. I feel like what you want is this cup, this apology or this expression of love or offer of love. What's this um, King of Swords in Reverse Spirit? Why is the King of Swords in reverse here? <clears throat> okay. Um, King of Pentacles in reverse to the Six of Cups and the Four of Cups. Look at that Ten of Cups. Six and Four equals Ten. Ten of Cups which is what you want. You want this king, okay. You want this 10 of cups. You want this happily ever after. Give me a second. Yeah, I feel like you're very disappointed here. You're very disappointed um, with this person. You see, this four of cups, I feel like you want, you want this person to tell you how they feel. I'm gonna take a look at that Four of Cups spirit. You want this person to tell you how they feel and to give you some sort of offer here? 
What's the Four of Cups? Ooh, Nine of Swords. You've been thinking a lot about this person with the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. You feel like the connection is dying between you and this person. You feel like the connection is dying between you and this person. I feel like you really want this. You just don't feel like this person is um, coming towards you correctly. And you're not willing to settle for less than what you deserve. So I do feel like you're protecting yourself. Um, but it's hurting you. It, it is hurting you. Because you do have a lot of feelings for this person, but but you're not going to play the fool. You're not going to allow yourself to play the fool here. This person has done things that are big red flags for you. And unless this person, you know, redeems themselves with you, and proves themselves to you. I feel like you're very confident about not letting this person back in. Yeah, that's the thing though, with the Two of Pentacles, it, this feels to me like even if they were to come towards you correctly, I feel like you would be in this energy of, well, I'm not sure, I'm not sure because they messed up in the past. You know, what's to say that they won't do it again? So even if they were to come towards you correctly, you would still feel very unsure about this relationship because of what they've already done. <clears throat> Which are big red flags for you. All right. Let's move forward into the future. Tell me about Aquarius's feelings for this person moving forward. Aquarius's feelings for this person moving forward. Tower in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles, to the Page of Pentacles. What is that? What did this person have? This person had the High Priestess, the Lovers in reverse, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. And you have Tower in reverse, Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Um, I want to know about that. Spirit, tell me about Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Why is this in Aquarius' feelings? What does this mean here? Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, oh boy, to the world and the Temperance card. Hmm. So I feel like um, a, a, the, a cycle is going to close here with the world card. And you are going to move on towards healing yourself with the temperance card. What is this page of pentacles though is the what I'm not getting. What is this page of pentacles? Some of you, because I don't see this person taking, well, I just looked at their feelings. I didn't see their actions. This person might try to offer friendship here. They might try to come towards you to, to, to tell you, let's just be friends. Let's try and just be friends at least. Tell me about this page of pentacles. Yeah, someone is going to want to heal the relationship here and rebuild at least a friendship. There is a lot of pain here associated with this relationship with the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. And I do, I do see that someone is going to want to heal that pain by offering an apology and, and offering friendship. 
Let me look at this person's actions just to make sure about that. Tell me what this, um, I think, cause I don't feel like it's coming from you. Who knows? Maybe it's coming from you. It's possible. But this looks more like something you're receiving. All right. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward into the future? What actions will they take towards Aquarius moving forward? doesn't look like it's over between you two moving forward into the future. It feels like um, there is going to be at least a, a friendship or like the attempt to be friends with each other or to just, you know, continue talking to each other in a casual way. Um, what actions will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? Eight of Five of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, there's that communication. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What is the communication here? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this person is going to be offering friendship, like... We can at least be friends. Yeah, but they're not they're not looking for just being friends. No. No, 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 no. They're not trying to just be friends. I feel like that's how they're going to um, sell it to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they're going to sell it to you. Like, can we at least just be friends? Can we at least, you know, be um, cordial with each other, friendly with each other? Can we, can we just, can we keep talking and connecting, you know? That's how, that's how they're going to sell it to you because they want to heal the relationship with you and they're not over you. They don't want the relationship to completely disappear and end. Um, and they're going to see you moving on with the Knight of Pentacles. This is how they're going to be looking at you. They're going to be looking at you as someone who's moving on. Someone who's more, who's going to be more focused on yourself. You're going to be focused on yourself, your finances, career, work, projects. They're going to be seeing that. So they're going to come towards you trying to kind of rekindle, not rekindle, but like repair the relationship and be friends with you, but I do feel like secretly this person is trying to rekindle the relationship in the romantic sense. How is um, Aquarius going to respond? How is Aquarius going to respond to this action from this person? four of cups yeah four of cups is kind of like a yeah i don't know i'm not so sure you're gonna be indecisive with the four of cups you see it's being extended out to you this this ace of cups but you're no i don't know i'm not sure Tell me more about how Aquarius is going to respond. King of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. Uh-oh, Aquarius, you're going to be um, vulnerable here. King of Wands and the... Yeah, King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. You're going to be vulnerable. Your emotions are going to come back up to the surface. You are going to be very guarded here with the King of Wands. You are going to be very, um like, um, defensive, kind of, you know, protecting yourself, protecting your energy. This is not a strong defense system, though. King of Wands is not a strong defense system. 
King of Wands is impulsive and changeable. So you're definitely going to feel tempted here. And you're definitely going to be feeling vulnerable. Your emotions are going to come up to the surface. Tell me more about um, Aquarius' response and where is this headed? Yeah, look at them. Here they are coming towards you. Knight of Cups trying again. Trying again to like woo you. They're going to try to woo you again. It might be a little bit unexpected. You might not be expecting this from this person. Because I do feel like they are going to keep their silence for a little while. But I do see them resurfacing and it's gonna, it might shock you. You might have thought this person wasn't going to return back. What's the outcome here? Where's this headed? Magician in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Um, I feel like that's you. Yeah, what is Aquarius' um, final decision or towards this person? Oh my lord, Aquarius, look at you. You're going to be stressing out again. So just keep that in mind. If you let this person back in, you're going to be stressing out. Because all of those feelings are going to come back up to the surface and it's you're going to just relive everything all over again. Because um, the connection is really strong with this person. So I see that, you know, there is a big possibility with the Sun card that you might give this person another chance. OK, that's up to you. It's up to you. So I'm just going to leave it there. It's up to you what you want to do. But I do see um, a very strong likelihood of you giving in to this person because I do feel like they're going to be persistent here. They're going to be persistent in trying to weasel their way back into your life. And you're, you're a little bit vulnerable to this person because you do have a lot of feelings. So you do have a weak spot here. And this person is going to come towards you with, you know, very sweet messages, romantic messages. And it's, it's going to make you feel tempted here. Because this person does make you happy, you know. It's not all bad with this person. This person does make you happy or has made you happy. And you're going to be um, remembering that. All right. Any advice here um, for Aquarius? Actually, let me use the tarot cards. Any advice for Aquarius? I was going to use oracle cards, but let's, let's use the tarot cards. Any advice for Aquarius in regards to the in regards to this relationship. <clears throat> All right. Any advice for Aquarius in regards to this relationship? Seven of Pentacles in reverse, okay, to the Wheel of Fortune, to the Justice card. Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Justice card. Yeah, you really have to weigh out the pros and cons with the Justice card, you know. Really think about, you know, what's worth your investment and what's not worth your investment. Um, I, feel like the, I feel like the universe is telling you it's up to you with the justice card. Again, it's like you have to make that decision. You have to weigh out the pros and cons and really think about what's going to make you happy. Um... It does look like this person is coming towards you with sincere emotions. So I'm not getting that they're telling you lies. 
Any anything else in regards to advice for Aquarius? Ace of Wands in reverse, upright cards, spirit, only upright cards for advice. Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Yeah, make it very clear that what you're looking for is for a commitment. Make it very, very clear. Yeah, because this person might not be sure if they want a commitment. And if that's the case, then I feel like the advice is to look for something better. Look for something that is going, look for someone who is going to want commitment. So, you know, make your intentions very clear and ask them very directly. You know, ask them directly if they want a commitment or not, if that's what they're if that's what they're truly um desiring with you or not so that you don't waste your time you know with this person basically okay so Aquarius um that's the advice I hope this helped you and I hope it resonated if it did please give me a thumbs up thank you for watching I'll see you in my next video bye guys take care